Hey, this is Jared at Nintendo World Report, uh, talking about a little game called Mantis Spurn Racing that's coming to the Switch tomorrow, Thanksgiving in the United States, November 23rd. Uh, I'm th This preview is based on, or th these thoughts of mine are based on a preview build of the game that I played about a month ago. I only was able to play about 20 minutes of it, but it runs 60 frames per second. Uh, I played in undocked mode, 720p on the screen. If you, if you play docked, it's going to be 900p. Game looks really nice, uh, runs smooth. Uh, controls felt great. If you've played top-down racers like this in the past, if you have fond memories of like RC Pro-Am and things, like controls felt really great, really smooth. Took me like five minutes to get the hang of them, and I felt like I was racing well against the Pact even though it seems like the game is also sort of difficult too for, for people who want a bit of a challenge. Um, it seems like this, this is the definitive version of the game. Uh, this game's been out on Xbox One, PS4, and PC, I think for a few months now, at least a few months, maybe a year for one of those. Uh, so this, this version is including DLC from those other systems. There's like a Battle Cars DLC and Snowbound Tracks, which people had to pay for in the past, but they're, they're included here. Um, there's cross-platform play, first game after Rocket League to have that, so if you want to play with Xbox One people, if you want to play with uh, PC people in the online mode, you can. Uh, no PlayStation 4, but, you know, we, we know the reason why you can't do that. Sony doesn't allow that. Hopefully in the future, maybe they will. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a big career mode. It's got, like, an RPG-style upgrade system. Uh, overall, it seems like a, you know, a fun racer. Um... I, again, I only played it for about 15 minutes, an older preview build, but it, it definitely was fun. Uh, and I think we're going to have a review sometime in the near future. Uh, so, yep, just thought I'd, t t you know, stop in, give a little details about this cool game. And uh, thanks for listening. Bye.